What's up everybody? I don't know about you, but I feel like playing some Keyforge, and the deck that I want to play is one of my favorite decks that I actually own and play a ton of. This is H. Smith Radamance's Slippery Pilgrim. It is a Dis Sanctum Shadows deck. It's got, down the list on the Dis side, it's got Fear, Gateway to Dis, it's got Guilty Hearts, which is kind of cool, Mind Barb, one of my favorite cards, Dominator Bobble, uh, Library of the Dam, so we can do some archiving. Um, double Charette, which is great if we want to keep our opponent from forging a key. Uh, we've got Dust Imp, which is a, just a decent card. Shaffles, if it'll load. Shaffles, go! Shaffles. Double Toxin, both Toxins. Uh, when you reap, you get to discard a card from your opponent's hand. There it is. See if it pulls Shaffles up. Oh, no, this is Shaffles, sorry. At the end of your turn, your opponent loses one. Uh, on the Sanctum side of things, which I would say is probably the weakest side of things, we've got Double Blinding Light, which is the best thing about uh, the Sanctum portion. Uh, Cleansing Wave is okay. Uh, Inspiration is pretty good. Virtuous Works, which is probably the other great thing about this. Uh, double Hallowed Blaster, which can do some stuff, which is fine. Um, Bulwark, Frankus, which is pretty good, makes your opponent do stuff. Protectrix, which is just a throwaway card in my mind. Raiding Knight, which is good for maybe making your opponent um, miss a forge. Um, and then Sequis, which doesn't really stick very often, just because you don't see it very often in the deck. Um, and then the best part about this is the Shadows side. We've got Nerve Blast, we've got Double Pawn Sacrifice. Relentless Whispers, all of those give you Amber, um, or gain Amber somehow. We've got Bad Penny, Triple Fagin, or the Fagin Triple um, Urchin side of things. We've got Snake Lifter, or Snack Lifter, I don't know how you'd say it, which is pretty cool. Artifact Control, Nexus, which is Artifact Control, and Moon Cursor, which can just remove big things. Uh, the deck plays really well, it's nothing super duper special outside of the Fagin Triple Urchin stuff. It just plays really well, steals a lot. Uh, really fun to play, so let's jump into some games and see how it goes. All right, we're going to quick join some casual. Um, I think casual is a good spot for it. I guess I will create a room since no one else has one. And let's do it. We have selected the deck. He gets to go first, which means I'm going second. Um, let me see if I can make it to where you can see my hand a little better because that is no longer popping up. Hmm. Boom. Problem solved. Now it should be a lot easier to see everything in my hand. Yes, there we go. Okay, so do we want any of this turn one? Uh, turn one, we'd play like this, plus that, plus that. Gets three cards out of our hand. It doesn't do anything to the board. So that's a bit unfortunate. Or we can Urchin, which won't have any effect. Snake Lifter, which won't have any effect. Or we can play a single that. Uh, this is not very good. So we mulligan this away. And we are left with this. So. Not a very good starting hand. Uh, he plays the Terror and passes. Um, I could play Snake Lifter and uh, Pawn Sacrifice it, but that seems bad. I could play Nexus and uh, that's about it. I could play Nexus and Nerf Blast, which is pretty good. And then I could sack the Nexus. No. Play the Snake Lifter as well. No, I don't know. We'll just play that and we'll play Nerf Blast. So we'll steal one and then deal two here. And then we could play either of those cards. I don't think that we want to. I think we just want to pass. This doesn't have elusive. And maybe we discard him? Nah. And yes. That's a bad first turn for this deck. Usually it's a lot more exciting. All right, so he names. Um, Untamed plays Hunting Witch and then plays Dust Pixie, so he's got a lot of amber off the top. Then plays Giant Sloth, and then he's going to end turn, redraw. Cool. Okay, so our decision, decision time. Probably best here to kill the Hunting Witch, reap, play this to steal. So yeah, we'll do Shadows again. Uh, we'll play this. Play the Urchin on the right, it doesn't really matter where it goes, that'll steal one. Uh, then we can Pawn Sacrifice the Urchin, or we could play Snake Lifter. Uh, Reap here. Let's see, what do we want to kill with Pawn Sacrifice? We want to kill uh, Hunting Witch, definitely. And then we probably want to kill something else. What do we want to kill? Hmm. Dust Pixie is easy. 
action is gain three. So he has to discard a card to gain three. Let's play that, blow up our guy. We're definitely killing this one. And then we will also kill that to make his turn a little more awkward just in case. This doesn't have, have elusive, I wish it did. Um, reap here, so we're at four. Let's just play it and get out of our hand. It's fine. Probably should have done that last turn. That was probably a mistake. But we'll see going forward how much of a mistake it was. Okay, see what he does. I'm gonna adjust the camera, hello. Pull it down so that I don't have to sit so far forward. Untamed, playing the Mushroom Man, or is he discarding the Mushroom Man? Yeah, discarding Mushroom Man so that he can gain three, then reaping there, makes sense. Key charge to forge a key, it's pretty good. So he has one key down. And then plays Dew Fairy, which reaps and gains him two, which is pretty good. Hmm. Probably name Shadows again, unfortunately. We did not have a very good draw off the top. Uh, play Fagin, uh, Reap, this, hmm. Hit, hit there. Maybe just hit these two. Make him keep having to do that. Shadows, play on the right. Which one do I wanna sack? Probably Snake Lifter. Reap here. Reap here. Play, sack, Snake Lifter. Blow up that. Hmm. Blow up that. That way he can't stop the elusive from next turn and then in turn. So I forge next turn unless he disrupts it. He's pretty far ahead. Key charge off of the uh, giant sloth was really good for him. Let's see what he does now. <laughs> Continue to name Untamed. So we've both just named the exact same thing. Discarding Ancient Bear, I guess, so that he can reap and or use the action in gain three. Yep. Yep, to four, plays another ancient bear. Sure. Okay, so he's at four. Um, I can play a big turn here, which is pretty decent. Get rid of the cleansing wave, but I can gain three here. Play two creatures. I guess that's worth it. So we're gonna play Bulwark on the right, protecting Fagin with two. Play uh, Frankus on the right so that he can gain the armor as well. Uh, we'll play Virtuous Works, which does nothing but gives us three. Uh, then we will play Cleansing Wave, which does nothing, but it does something. It does nothing. Uh, that's the turn. Draw four. So we're tied at four. I've got four things on board. He's got two. Um, I've got two different houses on board. I've got Shadows on board and Sanctum on board, meaning I can kind of do some things with this hand. Blinding Light, excuse me, Blinding Light and Hallowed Blaster are decent plays. Depending on what he does here, if he names Untamed again, I would be shocked. Because he only has done Untamed stuff. Yep. Except his first turn. His first turn was not Untamed. I could see him blowing the board up here. And if he does, then I just go Charette, discard the Fear, and play Dominator Bobble. That's a possibility. Plays Ink of the Spider, okay. So here's Ink of the Spider. Play and Reap Stun. So he stuns Frankus, which makes sense. Does he just Reap Reap, or does he fight? If he fights, what does he fight? Let's see. Fights to kill Bulwark. Putting this at uh, one health remaining. And then he has yet to discard. No, he did discard a card, right? He discarded. No, he did not. So the question is, does he discard one of his cards? Does he have an untamed card? We have three on board. He's got six in the uh, discard. 
So that means he's got three left in the deck. That would be insane if he has uh, if he has another card in hand. That'd be impressive to draw that many untamed creatures. No, he does not. Okay. So then our decision, if we go, um, let's see, this is this is stunned, right? Because he stunned that. Okay. We could do something like reap, steal, grab the urchin from the discard, play to steal again, and then reap here, and that gives us four. One, two, three, four, yep. Yeah. That would put us at eight. We could also stun all three of his untamed creatures. I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, he reaps with that, it stuns a creature. That's kind of unfortunate. And that would only leave us, I would be basically doing nothing. So I'd rather just get another key. So shadows, play this on the right. Um, reap here, pull the urchin from the deck because that's how Mr. Fagan works. Play him on the left, who cares? And then reap here. And that is our turn. We are at eight. He is at two. But he can stun if he names. Yeah, and it looks like he is just immediately naming. Uh, untamed. Plays. Stuns Fagan. That makes sense. Plays the Dust Pixie to gain two. Uh, and he's reaping so that he gained the extra one from Inca the Spider and stuns Fagin. So now we have both of those stunned. Probably fights with the Ancient Bear? No, no, there's no need. You just reap and then don't do anything with Giant Sloth because you cannot activate Giant Sloth unless you discard. And again, if he discarded, if he had another, uh, he has two cards left. If he had another untamed card, that'd be pretty sick. Pretty sick. Okay. Now, we've got one, two, three things on board with which to um, use the Sanctum. That would put us at five, not six. Other option, we can just slam down Charette and this and bounce a bunch of stuff from his hand. Uh, like Ink of the Spider would be good. This Just make him not forge a key is really good here. So we'll start with Toxin on the left. We'll play Dominator Bobble which is great uh, with Fagin. What do we want to return to his hand? Probably Giant Sloth? Not really. If we, if we return any of these to his hand, then he can discard it and use Giant Sloth to gain three. Um, return Inca the Spider. He plays it and stuns something else. Don't want to return the Dust Pixie because then he just gains two when he plays it, which is bad. I think we'll just send the giant sloth back. Play charrette on the right. No forge this turn. And the beautiful thing about this is once you've gotten one charrette, then you're deeper into the deck, you have another chance of getting another charrette, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so I have two amber, he's got three amber. I have two keys, he's got one key. Let's see how it goes. All right, choosing untamed. Let's see what he does. Plays the giant sloth, which makes sense. Wow, he... Oh, no, okay. I thought he got another dust pixie. I was like, wow. No, reap, reap, stun, where? What's he going to stun Ink of the Spider with? Or who is he going to use the Ink of the Spider ability on? Probably Charette? I mean, you're not playing in... Uh, oh, did he do it? Oh, he stunned uh, Toxin. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good stun. That's what you should do. Then... Ancient Bear killing Charette so that he has his uh, Amber back. And let's see. Does he do anything with his hand? Because it would be shocking if he had anything to do. Nope. Dis. Play the second Charette on the left. Play another Toxin on the left. Reap this off or remove that, I should say. Use this to remove the Fagin. And that's all we can do. But again, he doesn't forge a key. So, that's nice. He did not draw any cards last turn either because he only played Giant Sloth. So his hand is the same as it was before. We know he didn't have any possible... Oh, wait a minute. Brobnar, he could go like loot the body's um, coward's end. That would suck. 
<laughs> that would be pretty cool though. Ooh, Tremor, he's gonna stun three. Okay, stuns the three dis. Let's see what he does. Headhunter. Headhunter does not do anything coming in. Oh, and Hebe the Huge deals two to everything. This would be a great time for Cleansing Wave to circle back around, but unfortunately Cleansing Wave has been used. Unguarded Camp. I forgot what that card did. Unguarded Camp. Ah, oh, come back. For each creature you have an excess of your opponent. Zero, the answer is zero. Um, this is a good time to play these two, I guess. Fagin to pull that back. He's at six again, so I can stop him from forging a third time. Uh, he stunned all my dis stuff. I could unstun all my dis stuff and dominator bobble a Fagin uh, reap into pulling an urchin from the discard. Are all three urchins dead? No, just two. Um, if this kills it, then steal one and that would not kill any of his stuff. Yep, so I would have to kill my own thing, like Nexus or a Toxin, which is good. The other option is just spamming a bunch of... How do you use a friendly creature? Hmm. 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 Let's just do shadows and let's just reap here and let's grab this urchin and then we'll reap here and then we'll play the urchin to steal on the right and then we'll play this to kill not kill that maybe we kill the urchin maybe we no we probably don't kill the urchin i think we probably kill nexus do we kill nexus or maybe we blow up a toxin. Let's just blow up a toxin. Let's just blow up a toxin. And steal one from him. Now we're at seven and we win next turn if you can't prevent. And then we'll play this. We might as well. All right. And end. No shadows cards in hand, but we have four sanctum and two dis. Arise. Probably pulling all of those. Yep. Pull... <laughs> Literally all of the untamed stuff. Place fear to return what to my hand? Let's see. He's got 12 cards in hand. Look at that. That's crazy. Fear to return Fagin. Plays Succubus. Plays Succubus. Plays Toxin. Succubus is a cool card. Good game. GG. That was a fun game. Game one done. I like this deck. It's just like a lot of steel and a lot of like board stuff that you just don't expect. It's fun. I enjoy it. All right, let's do another one. <laughs>